mainly this guy named Paul Wiley. Um, and Paul was this old man that he was probably like 65 years old. Mm -hmm. He was a, 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 I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he had a rough life. He was a complete drunkard. You know, uh, it was hard to understand him when he talked about, like, eh, eh. and if he wanted to smoke a joint, he'd be like, because he couldn't even say, let's smoke. And I couldn't understand him, but he just, when he spoke, he slurred so much. I just could not ever understand him. Wow. Uh, and this other guy that lived in the front, his name was Law. Uh, we called him Law Dog. And he worked for Clear Channel Communications, you know, and he was a cool dude, him and his wife. You know, they were, you know, partiers and go-getters and whatnot. So he had the big front place. Okay. And, uh, you know, one day we're all hanging out and then something happened. It was, it was like, everybody turned on me. It was, and you know, and law looked at me and his, his wife that was out there got real standoffish. They started making remarks about me being like bad and the evil one and stuff and saying like, look at your cat. I had this black cat and it was sitting outside my my door meowing and they're like wow look at that look how scary your apartment looks and look at your scary cat and all this stuff and uh law started crying he's like i wish it was somebody else but it's you man and you gotta go i got a little upset i got up i said all right man is that that that's what's going on and they're like sorry man and they all turned their back on me and uh and so i went up to my my apartment and when i get up to my apartment i was the only way I can think of it is to say is like, I was wrestling with the spirit. You know, there was something inside of me that was wrestling with me about who I am, mm -hmm. the way I've become, the way I treat people, you know, who, who, who I had put away in my life and that I had denied God, denied the spirit. And I'm just like, what is going on? And this spirit was so hardcore over me that it, I had to, I, I, it broke me and I had to just give into it. And I'm like, the, the spirit, I, the, this, the only way I can describe it is, uh, it, it was like a bad the, spirit or bad. It was spirit. like the Holy spirit, yeah. you know, it was like, I felt like it was Jesus, yeah. you know, uh, basically convicting me of the way I was. And it told me, it said, I want to show you something. And I was like, okay. And it said, go to your friends. So I walked out of my apartment and I looked over and I saw Paul. I saw his light was on and his door was open. So I walk over to Paul's place and I knock on his door and he sees me and he looks at me and he's like, Hey, and he, he does like tells me to come in and smoke with him, you know? And right when I walk in his apartment, everything was so vivid. I could see the maroon carpet and all the white cat hairs, a dirty newspaper. I could see his kitchen full of dirty dishes. His, his bedroom door was open. I could see all his clothing on his bed. It was, it was just kind of a disheveled place, you know, and he's sitting there all drunk and Hey, you know, and I said, Hey man, I just want to tell you, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. I said, but I respect you because you're my elder, you know, and he was like, nah, and he's like trying to can't really talk, but he's just saying, nah, don't worry, you know, and I said, hey, man, I think God's trying to talk to me right now. And I said, do you know anything about Jesus? And he looked at me with a straight face and he says, all I am is an old drunk. He's like, if you want to be like me, have a beer and we'll be two drunks together. He said, but I can't help you with anything else. And he like cracks open his beer and he goes, man. And he just started drinking it, staring off to the wall. And I was like, wow, what? it was so crazy. And spirit told me like, this is a drunkard. Cause this like, he normally can't speak. He normally like couldn't that. speak. He couldn't, every time he'd speak, I couldn't understand the word he said, but that time he spoke so clear, Wow, you know? And so I just stepped back That's and I, I was crazy. like, okay, I, I I walked back and I, I said, all right, man, I, I got to go. And I walked down the stairs. And when I walked down the stairs, I started walking towards the front and law had a place that was right in the front. And he was in the very front of the, the driveway. And when he saw me come down, he started rushing towards me. And when he's rushing towards me, he had a very angry look on his face and he walks up to me and he goes, Hey, what's up? And I was like, Whoa, that tripped me out. You know? Yeah. And I said, Hey man, I just want to say, I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what happened. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool, man. Come on in. And he gets to his door and he opens it up 
And when he opens it up, he opened his door. He looked all shiny and plastic. And I could see a big screen television and lights and a Jägermeister machine. And it looked all fun in there. And I could hear the spirit tell me like, this one is fake. And then I could hear his wife say something. And he turns and he bangs the wall and he's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. And he <laughs> looks back at me and he's like, come on in, come on in. Yeah, and then he's all smiley and, to you though. Yeah, and I but was like. Super like. So, yeah, you know. to her or whatever. And I was like, hey man, I just wanted to say I was sorry, bro. You know, um, but I can't come in, you know. And he's like, okay, cool. And he just shuts the door in my face and turns off the light. And, uh, and I'm like, sit out there in the dark. And I'm like, now what? And that spirit said, now go seek me. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that means, but I had the keys to Scorpion studios. So I said, well, I'm just going to walk to the studio and, um, and I guess I'll sleep there, you know? So I start walking from Taft down, uh, down Westheimer. And before I can get to Montrose, as I'm walking down the street, I feel this presence behind me and this presence I feel that's behind me, it feels like it's something very powerful, like a very powerful presence, but it also feels like it's afraid of me, you know? And I'm like, that's weird. I turn around and it's those two guys, those two black guys, the one guy that I punched and the other guy with the broken arm. And so I looked at him and I said, Hey, what's up guys? I said, you guys know who I am? And they're like, yeah, we know who you are. And I said, hey, I just want to tell you I'm sorry for the way I treated you. And they looked at me and they just smiled and they go, oh, that's cool, brother. We forgive you. And I looked at him. I said, really? I said, that easy? You guys forgive me? And they said, oh, yeah, that easy. We forgive you. I said, you guys ever heard of Jesus? And they said, oh, yeah, we know who that is. Mm -hmm. I said, you think he could forgive me as easy as y'all have? And they said, he already has. Check out the full video, The God Debate on this YouTube channel.